Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cry of Fear. So uh, now since this window is open, I was too thick chicken shit to continue. And that's where I saved off at, but that's something heavy to the door. So I'm assuming I use this. Get closer. Oh, I guess I climbed in there. Let's see. What's in this place? I don't know where I'm at either way. Before I continue. Not this place again. What? Oh man, fuck this. Are you serious? <gasps> Die, motherfucker. Sir, hold on, hold on. Let me kill you. Hey, we're looking at motherfucker. Count. One second. One second. Let me kill you. Hold on. Yeah. 
What the fuck? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, bitch? Where are you going? Where'd he go? Where the fuck did he go? Anything else? No, 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 no. Ah! Let me go back inside. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses, shit. Ah! No ammo. No ammo. No ammo. Oh, I'm almost out. All right, hold on. Why did I do that? Fuck. Fuck, why did I do that? Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. Oh, shit. This is like hell. Oh. I don't know where I'm going. Shit. Shit. Oh. Uh, so guys, how has your day been? Well, I'm assuming. I have to deal with this shit. So I'm assuming that once I'm done, I jump down there like motherfucker escaped through there. But. Where I go after? Yes. What's in here? I'm fucking scared. Alright, Simon. Here we go. Oh, this is worse than afraid of monsters. Oh, shit. Because these things. Oh. There's nothing gonna pop out. He um. always goes back to the same place day after day. He was watching it like it was yesterday. Despite the fact that it causes him tremendous anxiety, he insists on returning. Yeah, but I don't want to return. He insists it's for therapeutic reasons. Not enough for therapeutic reasons. <laughs> Come on. He doesn't respond well to questions about his personal life. He became extremely angry when I mentioned events prior to what he insists on describing as black day. His school and home life were no ill topics when discussing these feelings and anxieties. He told me the other day that he'd been seeing hallucinations, but couldn't give a clear description of what he'd been seeing. Naturally, I didn't take him seriously. I saw no evidence to suggest this was the case, but up his prescription anyway. He claims that extra medication helps. Talking, that means I'm not say oh no. What do you want? What the fuck are you?
Oh shit! Oh shit! Alright, you wanna play at that homofo? I'm not scared of you. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking ugly bastard, twig thing, fucking with fucker things. Oh, I hate you so much. Alright, so I have no ammo. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I need a fuse. I'm going to get a fuse. I'm going through all this hell just for a fucking fuse. Whoops, whoops, okay. I guess I can't access the menu when I'm down here. Oh, damn it. Come on. You broke your foot. Let's see. How many syringes do I have? Seven! <laughs> Holy shit! Woo! Run, Simon, run! You know, we always move back to the same place day after day. I was watching it like it was yesterday. Despite the fact that it causes a tremendous anxiety, he insists on the time. He insists on his maternity for like reasons that I will continue to do. He doesn't respond well to questions about his personal life. He became extremely angry and tried to cry for his friends. Like a boss, like alright. He's cool and one life but not You guys ready for this song? I'll need to shut up. I hope. I hope you guys are paying attention. If not, then what's the point? I'm just Sing a song that makes you feel better, better, better. What are you doing? Why are you looking at Slava Puss? Come on, come on! Run, Simon! Fuck you! Oh! Oh! No! Fuck that! Oh! What? Hey, Fuse! I don't need you, Nightstick! This is terrible. Alright, uh... Roped off apartment. Do I get anything? Like, anything else? Oh, fucking terrible. That chainsaw... I'm terrified of chainsaws now! So please let me go! Serious? Oh, 
Ladder. Ladder. I need you. Now. I just... on the fucking door. Are you serious, Simon? You stupid. Ladder! Inventory full! Shit! See, what the fuck did I drop? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horse cocks. What did I drop? Did I drop this? I'm dropping you, baby. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'll get you back. Don't you worry. Someone's gonna pop up. Someone's gonna fucking pop up. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Time by this game, someone's gonna fucking pop up in the water and chase me. And there's blood here, so it's obvious someone's gonna fucking eat me. It's probably some demon shark.
see right here. I am done. Woo! Fuck you, apartments from bastardly hell. Fuck you. Oh, I beat you, motherfuckers. Mm. Yeah, like a boss. You cannot beat Psycho Zone because you are in the zone of psychoness. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you're proud of me for going back to hell and getting back out like a boss. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to let the channel grow. It would be nice. And I'll be doing a dwell commentary with a fellow friend of mine soon, if you know him. His name is Octobarian. And it was nice to play this game again. Really fun game. I love it. The atmosphere is really creepy. And, uh... Yep, either way, the atmosphere is really freaking creepy. What? And... Hope to see you guys in part 13 of Cry Fear and part 3 of Tomb Raider and more. I'll be making Slendy Tubby videos, Slender, uh, lots of other FPS games and creepy games and funny games like Happy Wheels. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Cyber Zone out. Bye bye.